It says we're live, Jesse. We are live. We are live on Friday at one o'clock. That can only mean one thing. It's Crucible TV time. Crucible TV Let's time. Go. We didn't even rehearse that, but it flowed so well. It was that, nice. It that's was what smooth. happens when you got a good team, when there's a lot of communication going on. You, it's like he knew what I was thinking. It's like we could run routes in the dark and we'd still we were running. throw touchdown. Passes. Running routes in the dark, yeah. eyes closed, closed yeah. without a glow in the dark football. That's right. That's right. It's happening. Happening just like that. As you guys are hopping in, I just want to say thank you so much for joining us. You could be doing anything else on this day off. I know all you students have off today, so thank you for joining us. Today, they got man. off. They got off. They got a day off. Josh, I see what's happening. Kelsey, Casey, what's yo, what is happening? What's going on, Nick? How you doing, my Nick, man? Nick, in the house. Let's go, baby. You always here, Nick, and I appreciate that. He's always so, coming on, man. He's always coming in. Josh with the big flex. I Coach like that. Coach Keg, what's happening, Coach? Coach, Coach Keg getting his mind right before, right going? before I get a notification that says Coach Keg just went live. Mm -hmm. he, he goes live in one minute, so be sure to check out Coach oh. Keg and get his mindset. Morgan, the we fourth. Got, we got Mo and Sid Mo, on. Let's go. We got trouble up in Y'all better get your minds right today. Mm -hmm. Lawson in the house. Wyatt in What's the house. Home? We got everybody in. Man, we got all the cool cats Everybody's fired up on this Friday. Y'all got the day off. So my first question to you is, what are you doing with it? What you doing to get better? What are you doing day? with your day, day off? off? What, what hard thing are you challenging yourself to? Mm -hmm. Or are you just saying, you know what, I'm going to take the day off. I'm going to like... Just kick it back, and I, I deserve the day off. Well, guess what? What? What's your, that? Your goals, your dreams, they don't have days off. Your goals and dreams are still sitting there saying, come on, come on, let's Time go. Time to put the work in. Rent's due, baby. Let's go. And, and what's what? That's everybody's biggest like excuse. I don't have any time. I don't have any time. I don't have any time. We got a whole day now. A whole day to get after it, get your booties moving, not just sit and watch Netflix and TikTok and practice your old TikTok dance in the no. day. Like, none Coming of that. Back, sure. None of that. Coming Come back, on sure. now, let's go. You know, we got Briar on, we got Kelsey on. Briar, Kelsey, what's happening? Damn, so, we got everybody. We getting fired up. We appreciate you. Type in, let us know. What difficult thing are you going to do today to finish out this week strong? What are you going to do to get better today? What are you going to do what to are you finish gonna do? this week off strong? Let's go. There we go. Casey sitting in the 496, 496 traffic jam in my mom's car. Hey, be careful. Don't. Don't hit anybody yeah, while you're getting your mind right. Don't yeah. start driving on the shoulder because you're getting so fired up on a Friday. So, uh -huh. college applications and baseball. Amen. Let's, Let's go, go, Josh. Josh my you man fire Josh me up. Some good choices. That is what I'm talking about. Let's go. So here we go. We getting on it. Ooh, Bible study with church friends this easy. You know Let's how go. to get me fired up. You see my shirt right there. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know how to get me fired up. Let's go. So here we go. We're got. I don't know if you were watching my story on my, my page, my Coach Ryan Morris page, but I was just out in San Diego, mm -hmm. out in San Diego this past couple days, Monday, Tuesday, and we've been talking about going beyond a lot, right? Like, what does it take to go beyond what we believe is possible? We've been talking a lot about what it takes uh, if you feel overlooked. How do you go beyond that? How, what, what does it take to go beyond? And I'll tell you what, I went out with a group, with a group, guys named Steve Weatherford, and he's got a group called the King's Council. Now it's a bunch of business owners, Christian-based business owners, uh, and we went out to an event called Upgrade Your Human. Upgrade Your Human. And the whole idea uh, was, you know, you upgrade your phone, you, you do all these things to upgrade all these things in life, right? But when do you up ever upgrade your software, like what you're doing in life? So I had zero idea what to expect. Steve messaged me and was like, hey, Ryan, like, Dude, I think you would love to do this thing. Why don't you come on out? I was like, all right, sold, sold, let's go. So I flew out to San Diego. I show up Monday morning at 6.30 and a bunch of people around. I had my, my backpack full of water. I knew we were gonna be hiking a mountain, but I didn't know really what was going on, right? And all of a sudden, all we're doing, we, we started by meditating and breathing and doing some of that stuff. And it was cool, it was cool. And then he's like, all right, now we're gonna compete. And I was like, oh. I like to compete. I like yeah. you like to compete. I like to compete, and I know for daggone sure that Coach Ryan mm. likes to compete. I like <laughs> to compete. You know what I'm saying? I like to compete. My so, man likes to win. Let's go. I like to win. <laughs> so they said competition. Let's go. I hope I'm on a good team though. So they split us up into teams, and uh, I was on a team with a guy Nate. If you're watching, Nate, he. 
he's uh, like a seven time American Ninja Warrior. So I was like, sweet, I got some. I got some. That stud. guy also sounds like he likes to compete. He likes well. to compete. But sounds I, like you were on a on a, a team full. Of stuff. We had a good oh. team. We had a good team, and I'm gonna get to that. We had a good team, and all of a sudden I'm like, okay, I got this big pack of water, or like a backpack full of water, and I'm like, we gotta race up this mountain. So here we go. We all had crosses as a team that we had to carry. Once we picked it up, we couldn't let the thing sit down, right? And they say, okay, ready and go. First thing, you got to do 200 push-ups. Everybody in the group had to do 200 push-ups. So there we are. We're going to town. And then we- Did you do them all single arm? I did them all single arm. That's right, all single arm. And so all of a sudden, we take off running up this mountain. We're like, we're gonna win this thing. So we take off this mountain. And if you got a my zone, I was in the red zone for almost an hour. And I was in the yellow zone for over an hour. I was, I was mm. huffing it, right? <laughs> But we were pushing up this mountain. We get up to the top. We had to do a mind, like a puzzle. We had to memorize a Bible verse. We were going up and down, up and down, up and down. Long story short, we had to do another 200 squats before we came down this thing with the cross, all this stuff. Long story short, we win. We win. We win this thing, and it was awesome, and I was loving it, and I was huffing it, and it was like, ugh. Go what ahead. would you say was the biggest challenge of that competition? The, me the mental, I'm going to get to that. The okay. mental side of things. Okay. The mental side of things was definitely the toughest because there comes that point where I was physically just exhausted. I was red zoning. Guys, I was at over 90% of my maximum heart rate for over 45 minutes, right? For over 45 minutes, I was in the red zone. Guys, I was hurting. I was coming down that mountain. My knees were hurting. My ankles were hurting. My hips were bothering me. My shoulders were worked. But I was like, you know what? My team's counting on me. Anyways, we'll get to that. So we get to the end. You saw me do the ice bath. It was awesome. Yeah, Philippians 4.13. We were actually memorizing Matthew 11, 28 to 30, talking about burdens. Anyways, we get done. Now, I tell you all that because I got a couple takeaways. A couple takeaways. Number one. Number one. What's my first takeaway, Jesse? Do you know my first takeaway? Your first takeaway? Did I, did I tell you what my first takeaway was? Maybe I didn't even tell them what it was. Was it who you are surrounding yourself with? You got to surround yourself with great people. got to surround yourself with great people. And that was the cool part about the team. See, look, this guy, he's listening. He's listening. That's why I surround myself with this guy. The team that I was on, we had some actual, studs. some studs, like some physical studs. But even more than that, they pushed me and everybody else Mentally, emotionally, spiritually, right? There were times that we were physically, we had guys on the team and we were actually walking up the mountain with our hands on each other's back. Just pushing, pushing each other up. Pushing each other's, pushing each other literally up the mountain, right? There were times that I had my pack that my buddy would come along and he's like, can I carry that burden for you? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, because I'm dying. Here, I'll take the cross, you take the bag, right? And then there were other times that I just needed to rest and somebody was carrying this, somebody was carrying that, right? You have to have great people around you and you have to be selective with who you are around. And that was a, a, an awesome lesson that I learned going up that mountain because there were plenty of times that I wanted to quit, mm -hmm. right? I wanted to just stop and take a breather, right? I just wanted to stop and take a breather and just go, <sighs> let me just breathe. But I knew that the, the team was still going. They were counting on me to keep moving. So guess what I did? I kept moving. I kept moving, right? And the thing that allowed us, little part, lesson one, one A, the thing that allowed us to win, we were actually the second team to the finish line, but we were the first full team to the finish line. Wow. See, team one, wow. they got there, they had everybody there except for two guys. Wow. The whole team took off, they left somebody behind. They ended up going down the wrong road. That's amazing. Right? So while they got there first, they didn't have the whole team. Wow. They weren't checking up and making sure that the guys at the back were synced up with the guys at the front. That's they weren't amazing. a team, That's right? So here we come flying down the mountain. We see the other team, but we're like, you know what? We're still gonna sprint across this thing. We're gonna finish. And they were like, you're the first full team. Guys, I'm just finding that out right now. Ryan's told me about the trip. He's told me about this hike and how it was a competition. Who's finished first? I didn't know that was the sole reason why that. To me, you were talking about how relationships were such a big mm -hmm. piece of this and, and who you met and how that just makes you want to keep surrounding yourself with other fire-breathing dragons and Absolutely. things like that. 
but the fact that it was your team that won because you all went through the finish line together. We first, went through together. That is special. Right and there. we didn't leave anybody behind. And and that to me that it sounds like you know, that's what you want to be as as a teammate, whatever it is. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And and that, that fires me up to be a to be a better teammate right there. Um now I guess what I'm I'm trying to say next is you're talking about like these Compet like you're on a team of yep. other competitors, mm-hmm. right? You guys finish the finish line yeah. together. How did that make you feel in terms of wanting to get back? those moments when you did want to quit, mm-hmm. right? Having that person alongside you say, "Hey, let's keep going. Yeah. You got this, baby. Let's go." Right? Or right Absolutely. there, or just right wanting to be the best version of you. Mm-hmm. Having other people with that same type of mindset around you help elevate. Your own mindset. Well, and it made me it made me think this. So that leads me right into point two. Nick, awesome. Get your booty back into that gym. Proud of you, baby. Right, Nick, okay. Awesome. It reminds me of the quote, and this is point two. They say, if you want to go fast, go it alone. Mm. But if you want to go far, go with a team. Mm. There were plenty of times I could have gotten up that mountain quick, mm. right? But I probably wouldn't have gotten back down quick. Right? The coolest part about this, the guy that was the slowest guy on our team, he was a 53-year-old dude crushing it, let me tell you this, crushing it, was dying getting up this mountain. Like we were literally pushing him up this mountain. He was sick, all of these things. We were pushing him up this mountain. But guess who was leading the way on the way down? Was my man was leading the way on the way back down. And I was trying my best to keep up with him on the way down. See, he had a team around him that believed in him, and all of a sudden that filled his spirit up, and he was flying down this mountain. I literally couldn't keep up with him. I had my pack, my knees were hurting, my ankles hurt, and he was gone. And I had to go into a full-out run at the very end to try to even keep up up with with where he was at. It was amazing, but it just shows you you got to surround yourself with great people, but then being part of that team is going to allow you to go so much further because there's going to be different times that your strengths are going to be what I need and my strengths are going to be what you need and we're going to be able to pour into each other and carry each other's burdens when we need it right mm-hmm. and so many times we we get isolated into these social media bubbles right we got our phone and we're disconnected we're not really connected we're disconnected we think we're connected but you know I'm watching and comparing and I'm doing all these things but I feel so alone right we're more connected than ever but I'm so alone the importance of getting together with great people and going and actually making a team, communicating, it's going to allow you to go so much further than you thought possible. Man, just listen to what you said mm. right there. That makes me think of an awesome challenge mm. uh, today is to really take a time. My man Vince Reaver, let's see go. coming off a big win this week. Let's too. go, Vince. To really take that time and be like, how can I be present in the moment mm-hmm. today? connect with who is around me and and whose burden can I carry Mm -hmm. because I never know when they're going to help carry my burden but who can I help who can I reach a helping hand to today who can I be a teammate to today who can yeah who can you pour out some love Mm -hmm. to you never know because you never know that well you do know you're going to need it at some point and and they could be right there in the room with you that's right you know and you never know so point number three because we're going to wrap this thing up here in a minute Point number three, I don't know if y'all saw, but I got in this crazy ice bath thing. They had these barrels full of ice and we had to go in there for three or four minutes, whatever it was. I don't even know what it was, right? The water is so cold, it literally took my breath away. I don't know if anybody's ever done that before, but it literally took my breath away. Cold ones. Like, it was cold, right? <laughs> I jumped in there and I literally went, <gasps> right? Literally. And I was like, Focus on my breathing. But I had my man Nate there coaching me through it, right? Talking to me about my breathing, staying controlled. And it was it was so cool mm. to realize being in that cold, all I wanted to do was get out. All I wanted to get out. My body and my mind was saying, This is bad. This is wrong. This is not good. Get the heck out of there. You are uncomfortable. Get the heck out of there. But I also knew that there is a lot of very good benefit to cold therapy, to an ice bath. There is good that comes from it. So I had to train my mind and remind myself in the midst of this, this is good. This is beneficial. This is good, right? Just because it's uncomfortable, just because you're in a little bit of pain, doesn't mean it's wrong, doesn't mean you have to stop. You know what? 
maybe the uncomfortableness, maybe that's the stretching, maybe that's the growth. And it, it, it amazed me that even though the entire three or four minutes, whatever it was, right, I wanted to get out of that thing, but I was secretly enjoying it because I knew I was getting better, mm -hmm. right? And I've already made up my mind. I'm going to make my own at home. I'm going to make my own at home. I'm going to do it every day. Ice baths at Crucible, guys. Crucible ice bath. It bites you over. You can come get an ice bath. As soon as I get it up, we'll make an event. You can come over to my house. We'll do an ice bath together. I'm telling you, there's something special that happens here when you can go from that, break that chain, break that wall down that says, you know what? This is uncomfortable. It's bad. This is scary. It's bad. Uh, this hurts. It's bad. Instead of this is uncomfortable, good, I'm this, grown because This of it. is good. Mm -hmm. This discomfort is good. This uncertainty is good because it means I'm pushing into this next thing. I don't feel like I'm ready. Good. That means we're in that growth. Oh we're gosh. in that growth. And that was one of my biggest takeaways because I, I've got some big visions, guys. I've got some big visions. We've got some big visions of where we're trying to go. And there's that little voice in the back of my head that says, you ain't ready for that. You're not the right one for that. And to keep but you know what? Things. You know what? That's good. That's good that I had that little whisper because you know what? That means I'm pushing outside of what I'm personally comfortable with, mm -hmm. right? This is good. This is good. And this is where I need to lean into my faith. And this is where I need to step out. We talk about walking on water. We need to step out and say, you know what? I'm going to keep my focus on the right place. And we're going to start doing some of these things. This uncomfortable is good. There we go. Gorilla Mike. Yes, sir. You saw a cold plunge after every workout. Oof, it's been a while. Well, come on over. I'm going to get my cold bath ready and uh, we're going to, it'll be good to see you. We'll ride some motorcycles and uh, do some cold baths. Motorcycles and cold baths. Casey, we just had this conversation this morning. Yes, we did. Yes, we did. Yes, that and Lydia is the best. There you go, Casey. And even when you're alone, Jesus is at your shoulder. Teammate for life. Amen to that. Mike, I appreciate that. That is so true. That is, I mean, that's a guy that you know that is always going to be there. So Gavin Baker, I see you, baby, popping in. What's up, Gavin Baker? How so, you doing, buddy? There we have it. It's Friday. It's 1 o'clock. It's one twenty now, so we got it. Again, I'm not taking up your whole day. I want you going out and getting better. So again, surround yourself with great people. Be selective. Don't just allow life to throw whatever it is at you. Be selective. Who is going to challenge you to be your best self? If you want to go far, go fast, go by yourself. But if you want to go far, if you've got big goals and dreams, let's figure out that team. Surround yourself with those great people. And just because it's uncomfortable doesn't mean it's wrong. doesn't mean you have to stop. It might actually be the best thing for you in that moment. So, guys, we love you. We love We get so excited about this Friday at 1 o'clock. It's my fave. It's, my it's fave. the best. We love connecting with you. If there's ever anything that you're like, guys, I have a question about this, or I want to know what your thoughts are. Please shoot us a message, comment in. We would love nothing more than to, to connect and serve you on, on any of those topics, right? Because we are here to help you go beyond what you believe to be possible. So guys, we love you. Have an amazing Friday. Love Super you guys. Love, guys. See ya.